Good day, everyone, and welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed uh, before you go live. Very important. Uh, today was an amazing day, up and down all day long. The market was trending really beautiful. On the left upper corner right now, now everything is calm, but today we were busy nonstop. And uh, the market was moving really beautifully on the short side and the long uh, uh, side. And um, on the left upper corner, this is the swing trading automated signal. As you see those blue chart, I don't have any more, we closed uh, let me see if I have still have some uh, trades on the scalper. Uh, there is one small one here. And the white charts, uh, they are connected to the scalper, which the scalper is a 15 second. But uh, the NASDAQ today, depends on how did you trade the NASDAQ, was an amazing uh, today on the uh, swing trading, uh, this is the signal connected to this uh, left upper corner right now. It's 3 o'clock. The market is way overdone. And uh, today the NASDAQ uh, nailed 9,800. Uh, total uh, around 19,000. Uh, we still have a couple of trades, Russell and a CL. Uh, it's about to hit the 20,000 uh, based on two contracts. Now, you don't have to trade them all. I did not uh, trade the DAX on it. If you notice, there is nothing on the DAX. Uh, the DAX was not traded. But uh, most of the traders, they trade ES, NASDAQ. And whoever traded the NASDAQ today is a happy camper. I want to uh, cover some different uh, automated trade. And uh, 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 to our traders, uh, on Monday, we have covered uh, the seven for the ES on the scalper and uh, uh, the YM and the NASDAQ. Those are the most um, we used, I used today the same to our members. Uh, I used uh, the same uh, seven I covered on Monday webinar. And, uh, and they're all using uh, daily target and uh, some they're not, I let them go. On the ES, I traded, then stopped it for three hours, and then traded. Uh, so I traded only two times, two rounds, uh, based on uh, on uh, uh, two targets. And um, if I let it run all day long, the amount would have been much more. But it got 3.7. The reason it got only 3.7, based on two contracts, because I only did two rounds. Uh, on the ES and you can see those the last round uh, I did uh, today on the ES and they were practically all winning except one losing trade so it did two rounds uh, the target is 1000 but if the market going to your direction it's gonna stay so you can see why it's 3700 uh, because uh, it's uh, I only did two rounds on it when it hit right away the first uh, uh, time uh, I decided uh, not to uh, uh, take another round and I, I keep seeing this market keep going and going non-stop today it was a beautiful day absolutely enjoyable uh, day uh, to um, uh, on the CL uh, I'm not very happy uh, with the CL lately not as an auto trade but as a performance so I have a $500 daily target, and once it hit the target, I didn't even want to bother to um, to do it on the scalper. 
but uh, also on the EIS after the first round I was not interested in going the second round but then I decided to go on the second round so and uh, the Nasdaq was it just was killing it as well and you can notice uh, it does not mean that the scalper is uh, better than the signal or the signal is better but uh, the the Nasdaq here nailed almost uh, 10,000 because it's a swing trade and this one here is a scalping and um, of course here there is a less trades here is a little more uh, trades in there but uh, at the end of the day if I let uh, the Nasdaq uh, turn loose uh, would have been uh, much more uh, than that and now uh, I want to cover uh, the uh, the TI7 this is also we have covered the uh, the signal uh, we have covered the 15 second scalper and this one here is a total different automated trade it's not uh, we have two different scalper you have you can scalp the market uh, from that blue chart uh, for the sorry from the white chart uh, and this one here based on the signal the scalping here it is a signal entry and uh, using 15 second and that uh, scalper here you see on the ES and the market analyzer here they are a total total different automated trade uh, they are this one here you just uh, put your stop loss and and uh, put uh, the time frame you want to use you can use a minute if you want to um, uh, or if you are uh, the reason it is this one here on 10 range uh, because we have a lot of not every trader uh, have um, an account um, means he knows how he trade and um, let me show you for the guy is knowing what he's doing I, I mean this is the same auto trade is a scalper and nailed 1300 and I didn't if you notice here I did not reactivate it uh, after uh, 1230 it hit the target at 1230 this one here I run it two times it's the same auto trade but then I find out uh, there is a lot of traders sometimes cannot understand volatility in the market and they, they, they no matter what you, we go on the other channel and teach still there is uh, some people it's not about teaching is still a, um, a little bit a lack of experience or knowledge and uh, there is some people will get it and some people they're not gonna get it so it does not mean everyone uh, have a license with ninja trader become a trader uh, we offer unlimited education but uh, it's like you have a, a class you have 50 people in this class it does not mean everyone is gonna get a plus for many reasons but um, so I come out with uh, something uh, simple uh, just put the stop loss this is exactly the same setting I covered on Monday webinar for the ES Nasdaq and Dow Jones and whoever was in this webinar and it is very affordable is two ES two YM and two Nasdaq it is very affordable which how much it costs to trade two ES two YM two Nasdaq depends on the broker you have but as you see uh, it just double up everything you invest or triple up everything you invest the amount does not matter if you have a fifty thousand dollar account if you are investing here three four thousand uh, dollar does mean you invested three four thousand it does not mean you invested uh, fifty thousand so all the guys with the setting uh, actually um, I have one guy he killed it uh, yesterday and uh, today as well and um, so uh, this is a more reasonable for a trader if you cannot afford to, to trade a lot of instruments 
or hedge the future market. This is really um, affordable and 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 uh, the the time uh, the higher time range uh, I did this one here for uh, the guys that just don't have knowledge and um, uh, you put him on a one minute and he's not reading the market um, he's gonna get chopped because on the one minute there is a lot of noises it's more pleasant if you know what you're doing but uh, when you don't know what you're doing or the market is sideways you, and you cannot see it on the chart, you're going to get in trouble. You know, where uh, on the 10 range, uh, you are avoiding this uh, noises in the market up and down, up and down. And uh, you stay on one direction. If we look at the bar color, uh, those uh, bar colors are not based on an ATR or a MACDs. Those are uh, based on the price line it's from the old school and um, not too many people knows what is the price lines but um, if you notice here at the end <clears throat> uh, you can see where the bars goes on a neutral uh, between a short and a long but it's not like an ATR red or blue because sometimes the market can go sideways and and a red and a blue uh, that's mean either long or short but in here in this area here is on neutral which that can avoid a lot of uh, bad trades that's why sometimes you see the ATRs automated trades they're not successful the reason is either long or short and there is no break in between when the market is sideways which have a big impact on your trade so if we look at the 10 range the 10 range is stayed in one color price line on the pullback re-entry keep entering the market and then uh, hit the target but it would have taken another couple of trades here and in this area here would not take any trade which you will be grateful because now the market uh, died out and you don't want to get involved in any trade but uh, I still like the one minute two minutes three minutes four minutes if you want to but uh, if you are not a guy know how to read what the market is going then you turn it on and on this one and you just keep your eye on it the probability on that 10 range chart it is going to be your favor where on the one minute maybe you will uh, experience uh, well, I mean like right now if we look at the market analyzer now start in red because it's over so uh, and uh, now I want to cover a total different automated trade called the TI7 the TI7 it is a much more advanced automated trade uh, for people have knowledge and uh, there is a, a big variety of entry and filter where he can set the condition for the market so in a way it's unlike the scalper the scalper it is a very uh, easy for beginners and it is very effective and and uh, you can scalp the market where the ti7 for a guy has been around and the auto trading industry or um, he uh, listened to our webinars on Monday and learn how to auto trade the TI7 uh, the TI7 is something you can cut it the way you want it to trade and and it can be uh, taking any instruments in the market because in 2021 you cannot depend on one type of an entry to take a Nasdaq and ES a YM a CL because each instrument have a different personality. It's like you have, when you have an ES, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones, that's mean it's like you have three different kits with a three different personality. You cannot trade one kit like the other because they are different. And uh, the ES has one personality, the YM has one personality, and the NASDAQ has. So that's why it's no longer this out of date auto trades to take one entry and take out the market 
with a lack of experience, a lack of knowledge, lack of money, your chances are very limited. But when you have a big variety of entries and filters and you do your homework for a couple of three weeks, once you start learning how to optimize the TI-7, which I will show you the TI-7, and then it will be enjoyable to, uh, uh, to, um, uh, to um, uh, actually, uh, I have not released it yet because we are doing major updates on all the, the system. What we did with the scalper, this is a normal scalper, and, uh, and, um, and, um, and what, what we have done on the, the scalper becomes success. What I did, I put it also, the scalper, the auto trade scalper, I put it on the TI-7, and this is a TI-7, but it's trading the same scalper. And the reason we have it in two places, because it is a very sufficient entry, it is uh, from the old school, is it is determined, uh, defined, uh, identify the trend, pull back re-entry. It's been with me for over 28 years. And uh, we've seen so many systems come in and go. But the, the, the only thing that's been with me for the last 28 years is identify trend, pull back, re-entry. That has never expired. I have seen a lot of uh, systems come into the market and they're left as fast as they come in because uh, they, when there is a lot of people using uh, the same thing, uh, become unprofitable and um, and, um, and they fail out because an auto trade is not just making an auto trade uh, you have to keep on the on the scalper probably we have done in in the last three four months I don't know maybe 20 25 updates and um, the ti7 I cannot even count maybe 50 updates uh, in one year and if you don't keep the things is with the, and this is not from, uh, it's not the client responsibility. It is for this vendor, for this guy to maintain that auto trade. He needs to keep his fingers in it and keep updating it and shining it and improve it. But you cannot just take one auto trade, uh, put a couple of indicators and not updating it. The updates, <clears throat> uh, if you don't update an auto trade and maintain it and do maintenance on it and then send out a new update to the clients, the auto trade will fall out and, and the algorithm always has to be updated. The algorithm, during those years, you keep updating and updating and shine it and uh, cutting it until you get it. And, <clears throat> and this is where for a guy, uh, my problem is not uh, the guy has been trading for many years. Uh, my problem is for this guy. He was he is on 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 a different type of uh, business, and now he is come into different territory. It's not his territory, and normally, the noises comes from the amateur traders, not the professional traders. If you give a professional trader. A chart with accuracy he can see gold minded and then if you give that chart to an amateur trader what he sees is rubbish and bunch of lines so one guy see diamonds and another guy can see glass and in order for this guy see glass in here to put him and let him recognize that you have to do a lot of training for him Anyway, our training is free. It's not the, the whole thing now. So that's why I come out with a little higher time frame for that guy. If he is willing to, in the future, willing to learn, then we have a plenty of tools for him to learn. And if the guy, for many reasons, cannot, will not, then you put him on a little higher time frame and call it off. Soon or later, he's, he's going to get involved and he, wanna, he wanted to start enjoying trading instead of being stressful 
uh, when he is trading. And now I want to get down with the TI7. On the TI7, you can scalp the market, you can swing trade the market, you can cut down the trade to three, four trades a day. You can set your daily target, whether it's 200, 300, 1,000, depends on what you want to do. If you want to trade a micro account, uh, of you, or if you want to, it depends what you want to do, you can do. It's much more elastic on that one. Also, the scalper, you can use uh, the, uh, the, 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 the micro account and a daily target, daily profit, daily losses. Uh, time to start, time to stop, all this you can do inside the auto trade. So they are very elastic how you want them. You just need to learn how to set them up. Uh, on the TI-7, uh, you need to learn a little bit, but on the scalper, practically, uh, you need set it up and go. So... Um, you can see here anything below 1000 is based on uh, uh, scalping and uh, today we are very busy uh, with uh, some kind of other trades and um, I did not uh, reload any of those TI7 and uh, they were done most of them by 10 o'clock we started around 9 o'clock we were done by 10 o'clock and the ones took a little longer time they were done by 11 o'clock and uh, because of the market but uh, we were doing some other t type of a trading so i didn't have time to keep my eye on them so i want to start with the scalpers uh, this is a scalper type and then it's i mean you can see right away one two and done uh by night by when the market is open it was done uh 610 and uh, this is a scalping 610 because based on two contracts scalping and uh, here it is also uh, scalping it is uh, done by 9 30 actually start around uh, nine o'clock done by 9 30 and you can see if i kept it would have taken much more much more trades but um, as i said we were success on a day like this we know what to do uh, i don't need an auto trade for that so uh, this is the three minutes of chart and I'm not gonna go through all of it. Um, as an example, if we take the swing trading, uh, the swing trading on the YM, uh, 20, the daily target was uh, 1000 and it got you almost a triple the amount because if the market going to your direction, it's gonna stay to your direction and uh, what you see here, I only show minutes, and uh, I only like minutes, but that does not mean you cannot use a Renko bar, but I don't like Renko bar because they're fake numbers, and uh, many traders, they've been around, uh, they know that, you know, but still, no matter what we say to our clients, they turn around, and you can see when you're doing a support, they are auto-trading on, on a Renko bar, and you, I mean, that's their business. Uh, NASDAQ 4 minutes 2800, which was done uh, very, 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 uh, very early. And then uh, uh, we have an ES on 2 minutes, 3000. Uh, NASDAQ 1280, this one I believe is scalper, 500 right on the spot, NASDAQ. And you can see it's all on, on 3 minutes. And uh, this is, I want to show this because I've been forcing uh, our traders to I share the the trades with uh, the numbers with them but they have to put it on the their I don't just it's no longer I I, I give them a chart uh, template what I do I share the numbers with them so I want them to right a click on the strategy and put the numbers as I do that's all what they have to do because I want to force some of our uh, 10 20 percent lazy traders to open the the chart and put the numbers so they start get to know how to do it by themselves. So what I do, I share the numbers, the stop loss and everything. But this one here, it is from one of our client, uh, Danielle from Israel. And um, that guy made the template and um, 
has been non-stop, uh, practically hitting a daily target, and uh, it hit very early. And if I kept it, it would have uh, took a much, much uh, more than that. But uh, it is right on, I mean, it is, it is one of our members did this, and um, I'm very impressed with it. And, um, and uh, the reason I'm keeping it, because I wanted to, the other traders, we have some people that it took them two months, three months, but then they got it. They know how to make. We have another gentleman, he showed me some serious numbers yesterday. Let me see if I can fish it out. Uh, this one from yesterday, actually, God knows how much he did, uh, but uh, he did very well, and um, he started really getting the idea how to uh, use the Yesterday, this is, was his performance yesterday. So, uh, also, he's been around, and uh, finally he started uh, getting uh, the idea how uh, to... It takes time sometimes, and some people can swim like a uh, fish in the water with it. But um, most of them, they start getting the idea. Most of them, most of them. And, um, and I'm happy, uh, I mean... Oh, what I need to say, thank you, Sam, that's all, for all the hard work we do. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for today, and uh, I want to say it was a really blessing day today, and um, <clears throat> we will see you on the other channel tomorrow, live. Um, please be safe, and God bless you all. Bye for now.